Uh, We're getting into some weird philosophical shit with her. You know, or I'm looking way too much into this. I think she. I think she is a few brain cells short of the full coconut. Probably. I guess being dead will do that to you. <laughs> Little, Little Gulliver. Gulliver. <laughs> what? It will call me such a ridiculous name. What? What the fuck does that name even mean? Have you ever read the book Gulliver's Travels? No. Have you ever heard of it? No. You poor kid. Yeah. Might be better off where classic books suck. <laughs> Not a lot. A whole lot of them do not really stand up to the test of the time as much as uh, English philosophers would lead you to believe. Hmm. The catcher in the rye was fucking boring, and that kid was an asshole. And I know he was supposed to be an <laughs> asshole on purpose, but he was still an asshole. So being an asshole on purpose doesn't make me like him. You know, if we're talking about literature like that, I'm just gonna say. Oh, by the way, I like how on a far borders of the screen you can actually see the. Is the banner is not filling up the screen the entire way? <laughs> yeah. So I was gonna say I actually read a Divine Comedy for fun. <laughs> When I, in high school. Nice. Because Well, probably because of the game Dante's Inferno. It was really fucking fun. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to read a Divine Comedy. And it was fucking weird. And I liked it. <laughs> I didn't finish it, though. I got, like, halfway through. Because I graduated that year. It is a long book. It's wordy. It's also very abstract at some points. But, yeah. It, I don't know. I, I enjoyed it to a certain degree. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so anyway. So Let's take a grand tour of hell. Why not? <laughs> so Yuko actually... Uh, yeah, actually is a princess. It's not just a title. She actually is uh, the princess of the quote-unquote netherworld. Huh. She comes from a line of that family, and she used to be alive. Okay. And uh, here's the funny uh, here's the funny uh, funny thing for context. It's actually Yomu's grandfather was uh, was her fencing teacher. Hmm. Which means there is, which means that is one of the three confirmed males to that was known to exist. Huh. But she never really cared for us, so she tended to skip out on lessons. <laughs> and it was weird being alive in the netherworld. Yeah. And so apparently there was something, I forget the exact details about before she died, but apparently there was a lot of uh, uh, pain uh, pain and suffering, whatever, going on in the world. And so she thought if she did some, uh, sa uh, some sacrificial, uh, some sacrificial uh, ritual, she'd be able to cleanse something or help or save or something. Hmm. It ended up not doing much of anything, but yeah. she never actually knew that. So she came back as uh, as a ghost with uh, no memories of of her life, which I assume that's how it works for uh, all of the ghosts who were actually were alive before they died. Hmm. Seems like that would sort of make sense. They have the same thing going on in Bleach, where if a character dies, they have no memories of their of their mortal life. Ah, uh, okay. So she uh, so she stayed as as uh, the princess though, but. It's basically, think of it as sort of like reincarnation in a sort. Hmm. And so she lived forever normally. And she lived in uh, the uh, in the quote unquote most beautiful garden in all the land. Hmm. And she's, she noticed that way out, way out in the far reaches of, uh, of her garden, there, were, uh, there was a dead tree. Hmm. And so she was doing, and so she used some power, some nondescript power to steal away spring and make it winter forever so she could use the energy of spring to try and uh, bring that dead tree back to life. Wasn't this a plaza for one of Toho games? Yeah, that was for Toho 7. Okay, I thought so. Yeah, the part about her being dead wasn't as part that comes before the game. The actual game, the plot of that is she's trying she's trying to uh, ma uh, make this tree bloom again, uh, the great uh, the great Psycho tree. Hmm. You'll note it, you'll note the tree's name because her last name, as you see up there, is Saikyoji. This tree is ancient and important and whatnot, hmm. and you, you stop her. And she's not really doing anything bad per se, aside from just keeping it cold. Even though I think it's like March and it's still snowing. Hmm. And so she wanted. Uh, so again, she wants to steal the energy of spring, quote unquote. I don't know how hmm. uh, to make it to put it all into the tree so it can bloom again. And your your job is to stop her. What you find out in the end actually is that um, is that the the Saigyo tree, it was actually planted on top of her on top of her corpse. Ha! Huh. So she actually did. So she did resurrect uh, the tree. All she would have found all she would have found uh, from the tree. The tree was also evil. It was sucking. Oh, it was uh, actually sucking away energy from the earth as well in a hmm. bad way. Oh. But yeah. Uh, uh, she was shocked and horrified to find that the only thing in, inside or underneath or coming from the tree was her own actual corpse. Hmm. And I think it was... I don't remember exactly, but I think it also might have been uh, 
Might have been feeding on her corpse as well. Yeah. Yeah. To sort of keep it alive, at least at least a tiny bit. Yeah. So that it, so that the tree wasn't completely dead. Hmm. And she was unknowingly doing something bad, but it kind of shook her. Yeah, I imagine. Fi uh, finding your corpse would kind of be kind of sad. Yeah. So she sort of stopped that and just went back to being a happy-go-lucky idiot. Hmm. So there's not as much going on there as there was with Moko's story, but if you bother to look into it, it actually is a, a pretty deep and pretty sad story. Hmm. That's the funny thing is, is for as funny as these games actually are, if you look in, if you look into the expanded universe and the backstories of characters, you can find some pretty dark and depressing stories. Apparently, huh? Shit gets ridiculous the, uh, the further in you go. <laughs> and then they yeah. sort of stop that with. Uh, the last time they had they had a really uh, dark and depressing story was a uh, backstory, um, in a matter of speaking, was twelve, and they haven't really done it since. Hmm. For better or worse, I'm not really a fan. Okay, thirteen people can acknowledge uh, the fandom has acknowledged is a pretty uh, <laughs> is a pretty terrible game. <laughs> Go figure. Figures. One of the reasons why most people don't like it is Yuyuko, who was the final boss of Game 7, is the first boss of Game 13. Why is that a bad thing? And that's a bad thing because it's like... There's supposed to be some sort of dynamic scaling with uh, difficulty and whatnot, so if you take someone that used to be the all-powerful and make him the first boss, it, it's sort of demeaning that character. I guess so. Hmm. Because like, if, if you view the fight order in terms of... In terms of uh, strength or power ranking or whatnot, it is kind of sad to see someone who was once one of the hardest bosses in the game become uh, the first boss of another game. Hmm. That's buzz I do it. But also, uh, n but also none of the uh, none of the new characters from the, uh, from 13 are likable at all. Most people actually hate the Taoist. Hmm. See, that's a bit of a problem. 14, I'm pretty uh, middle of the road on. I like the er I like the characters from the first three, four stages. I could not give a shit about anyone from stage four onwards or stage five onwards. Hmm. That game's story is stupid, but for different reasons. Mostly <laughs> because it's like there's nothing going on with that story of interest. Ah, fun. And 15... Well, 15 gets kind of crazy. They go t uh, they go to the moon, and they meet... They meet uh, the rough equivalent of God. Yeah. <laughs> in outer space, who... And, God, and God's uh, girlfriend, who, wa who wants to blow up the moon. <laughs> okay, then. Yeah, I don't know how to make sense of that, either. I th it it might have been patched or translated or whatnot. I still haven't actually. No, I still haven't even played the full version of Fifteen, either, even in Japanese yet. Huh. That came out last year. I should probably get on that sometime. <clears throat> so I wasn't paying attention at all. Why was she fighting Sakia? I don't know. How was she annoying her with her moon with her moon speak? Not sure. <laughs> it's like about ba ba uh, bad teeth being Wouldn't bad be better for if you had a few bad teeth so you won't eat as much. <laughs> She uh she says she says the Yomu is all always annoyed because she has to, because she's always having to cook for her. <laughs> if she had bad tea, she wouldn't want to eat as much <laughs> because it would be harder to eat. Yeah. Like the importance of a large bowl. I like to call that a screen grab. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think the moon is still? Well, it's the same day, so I can't imagine a whole lot has changed with the moon since yesterday. Oh dear. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want the moon? I just wanna gaze at it. Eh, whatever. Okay, it's right there behind us. They should come to my place. <laughs> hey, baby. Hey. <laughs> it's too red. I heard the artificial <laughs> colors are bad for your health. <laughs> this chick, I swear to god. It's completely natural. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. Doesn't matter if it benefits you, I just want to look at it. <laughs> this is ridiculous, and I love it. <laughs> so is there any particular reason for Yuko's, um... Moon thingy? No idea. I meant, meant more for her, um, eccentricness. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna just gonna chalk that up to being basically immortal and having infinite time to kill. I guess so. Because when, you, uh, when, you, when you're staring Eternity in the face, you tend to get bored pretty quickly. <laughs> True. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Ah. I imagine it drives some people nuts, yeah. 
You were playing as Romilia, right? Or you were going to do that later? I was going to do Romilia later. Okay, I forgot who we have and haven't already done. Um, I've done... I've done Sakuya, Marissa, and... There's one other. Shit, why can I not think of her offhand? I, don't, I know I haven't... What? I did Yomu. Yeah, you did Yomu. Um, you did Reimu. <laughs> she had Break of the Order is really messing us with us now, huh? At least we'll know what characters we've done and haven't done. <laughs> I almost feel afraid that, that depending on how much longer it gets by the end of it, one of us is going to forget if we did someone or not and end up doing their story again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I'm, I'm not that little, bad. I'm a little bit better than that. I would hope I would. Yeah. That's what... When I start getting that sense of deja vu, I'll know that we're, something's wrong. <laughs> Ooh, this might be useful. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. Okay, hers, hers is crap. Ah, that's a shame. Really, we've, we've only found two people that are good. <laughs> Marissa, Sakia, um... What would you consider Yoma? Would you consider her good? Hers was all right, but it was situational. She seems more mid tier. Or are, yeah. we, are we talking about strictly strictly supers or them I'm talking in about supers? Yeah, supers. Um, yeah, she's she's middle of the road. Marissa seems like it'd be really good if it connected, but I didn't find any moves that well besides the big big command mail. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is that you sort of need to be uh, you need to be in a certain position for that, and it's hard to it's hard to line them up against the wall because they have enough time to dodge. Yeah. Because it takes a good while for your attack to charge. I have a funny feeling if I knew what the attacks were in advance, I'd probably have put up a much better fight. Hello. Uh, 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 and... Almost. So, I'm gonna be totally honest, I'm shocked with how quickly Romilia might be becoming one of my favorite characters. <laughs> I did not expect that. She's honestly fun and hilarious. Dead. I did. I didn't even attack her. I didn't do anything to her. We'll have to look at that on playback later on. No, I wasn't touching any buttons. I know that for a fact because I wanted to kill her with my spell with my spell card. Uh, like, okay. I wanted. I. You'll notice that I wasn't using any of my attacks at all. I wanted to make sure I had all my energy. Huh. <laughs> Sorry for killing your pride. Sorry Instead for killing time. your pride. Yeah, yeah that's a screen grab. I like that one better. <laughs> Instead <laughs> of time. <laughs> it's no big deal. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll get back to Bleach soon. <laughs> Don't need to remind us, game. <laughs> We're on that. <laughs> this. <laughs> Colorless. Colorless. The fuck are you talking about? We're a beautiful shade of 14 different blues. <laughs> also, I hate the fucking hats. You're really fluffy hats? Yeah. Yeah. If it, it doesn't like... have if it doesn't have frills on it, it's not a Toho character. Hey, Marissa. Do the ribbons count? Eh. Eh. <laughs> At least she's got a witch hat. Well, she's got a frilly hat underneath that. God damn it. <laughs> I think that's just the underlining of the hat. It's still the after. Uh, you sure about that? You want to look behind you? Right. Unless that's just a really blue afternoon sky, which is not how the skies work. That's I don't know. It, up until ten minutes ago, it was pretty cloudy today. <laughs> I was really enjoying that. Enjoying some mushroom making. You'll eat the entire mountain clean, so I'm gonna have to tell you to leave. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not hungry right now. You look more like Stardust than the moon. <laughs> I love her jokes, is that, though. Is that a compliment? I think it's a compliment. Wait, Stardust <laughs> drugs? No, because all of all of Marius's projectiles are stars. Oh, okay. <laughs> are you trying to insult me? That depends. It's all your interpretation. <laughs> All right, I'll take it as an insult then. I thought you might. <laughs> Her writing is somehow genius. <laughs> the vagueness is beautiful. It's one of those sort of it's one of those sort of instances where you have to wonder if behind where if, uh, where if behind uh, all all the stupidity she's actually a genius is putting on an act. Yeah, you got one. I'm beginning to wonder that myself. It... And just how much of it is actually sharp, actually sarcasm. <laughs> You know, for a segment, I thought you were gonna say sharkasm. A sharkasm. <laughs> uh, beautiful. I wonder is a way to send all politicians to outer space. <laughs> I've never betrayed anyone in my life. <laughs> Stares directly into the camera. Amro, I'm doing something terrible right now. 
Yeah. We are going to just become rapid fire shark quotes at some point in our lives. I do not mind this. I'm okay with this. I came here to laugh at you. <laughs> <sighs> Got them changed me as a person. I wonder how Camille would have reacted if Quattro said his name was a girl's name. <laughs> How, how do you think Watcher would have divided him up? Do you think he would have taken the punch, or do you think he would have thrown him on his ass? What the fuck did you just say about my gender? <laughs> yes, I love it. <laughs> you could think of Gundam as a stands. <laughs> Gundam's a st There is already artwork about that. <laughs> With my stand, Quantamu. <laughs> I, I don't think I have it on my phone right now, but I did find art artwork of Amuro and Shara as Joseph char as Joseph characters. You mean they're not, Jonathan and Dio? Not confirmed yet. <laughs> uh, well, the uh, difference is Jonathan hasn't been resurrected. Oh, wait, he has, technically. Name a more iconic duo. <laughs> <laughs> God. Stars shine brightly, but they only get in the way of the moon. What? Stars obstruct your vision of the moon. <laughs> Clearly. Then you should love everything in the night sky, shouldn't you? For astronomy, yes, but I only want the moon. It would be rude to not pay full attention to the main attraction. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever, bye. <laughs> Fucking idiot, what the hell is she on about? <laughs> what is it? I got hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I, guess I am food. <laughs> I guess I will go with you to, to, to the Mushroom Mountain. <laughs> to Mushroom Hill Zone. I miss Sonic and Knuckles. That was a good game. You... Something smells good. As something looks rotten. It's an 18th day moon. Perfect timing. Can you pass the soy sauce? <laughs> <laughs> well, what is she... Don't consume too much salt. <laughs> you know what's hilarious though? Because there's a... Uh... The only salt we're consuming is the one over what we're about to do. <laughs> no, but it's not, that's actually a really hilarious uh, li uh, line in context though. Because in... Uh, in uh, in uh, Bo uh, Buddhist teachings, it says that you, it says that you can dispel ghosts with salt. If you if you pour salt on a ghost, it'll evaporate. I think that's kind of a you know, that's a lot more of a widespread belief than just Buddhism. Maybe, but I don't think I've seen it outside of that. I've seen. Well, I know exorcists definitely <laughs> use salt. <laughs> you attract more ghosts with sugar than with salt. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's some weird shit about like. I, okay, so. Um, back in, I don't know if you ever watched Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, but yep. that episode where uh, Billy did something to bring him bad luck, so he had to pour salt over his shoulder, but he, uh, is there, he threw it over the wrong shoulder, or he threw pepper <laughs> instead of salt? <laughs> yeah, that's I was like, like Jesus him. fucking Christ. <laughs> God, that's a show. Oh uh, my... Uh, <laughs> just thinking about salt reminds me of this other uh, Simpsons bit. Where uh, Homer was stealing uh, was stealing flowers from uh, Flanders' garden to make uh, to make a parade float, and he says, uh, <laughs> "Was stealing? <laughs> hey, hang on, I just want to reiterate what you just said. Was stealing flowers from Flanders' garden? Yeah, from his neighbor's garden. He was stealing flowers from his garden to make. I know. <laughs> to, uh, to make a parade float, and he says, "That's a mighty, that's a mighty pretty looking uh, looking ride, uh, ride you got there." You're, but did you really have to salt the earth so that nothing would ever grow again in my garden? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Go away. I'm do I'm building something. <laughs> Seriously, The Simpsons is gold, and if you haven't experienced the first fifteen years of it, you're missing out. I watched a handful of episodes. <laughs> there was a I think it was two or three years ago back. Uh, the FX network on uh, cable actually did like a week long marathon of every single episode. God. Yeah, there, there's like 500 some odd episodes at the time. That's either a sign that they know how much traction, how, how much traction the Simpsons will bring, or they were just that low on ratings and they want to do something to spike ratings. Uh, it's a, the FX network isn't technically a, a normal Fox network. I think it was them celebrating their acquisition of the Simpsons. It's probably that, yeah, and they probably had the money to spare for it. Yo, yo. Also, other side, hell yeah. Uh, yes. Okay, there we go. One more time. Blow me. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Suck it, bitch. You know, it's funny talking about that. I completely forgot who I was fighting. <laughs> right. This is actually pretty easy right now. <laughs> oh, I see why. It's because you can't evade your shit. This is where your shit being so widespread actually comes in handy, dude. 
Holy shit, there actually is something of a good matchup for it. The, sna the, the snacks are still a pain in the ass, The though. snacks? <laughs> I, I would have just said the snacks. And he's getting hit by that. You can eat snakes. You can. I've had rattlesnake before. It tastes great. <laughs> my dad my dad used to own like two or three pairs of snakeskin boots. <laughs> I thought your dad was... You're, you were about to say your dad owned two or three rattlesnakes before. <laughs> Which I'd be like, damn, I should talk to him more often. <laughs> No, the last time we went, we went on a trip, we, my sister got this rattlesnake toy. Okay. <laughs> I have a funny feeling at some point in my life, if I actually do marry Taylor at some point in the future, she's probably going to own a snake, or she's gonna, probably going to buy a snake. Anaconda. Probably. Or a cute little garden snake. <laughs> the ones from all the Tumblr posts that, that, allow, that allow you to kiss them. Boof. Make, give them a little peck. Yeah. She might just do that. I'm actually not joking about that. She might actually do that. <laughs> we shouldn't judge this too much on taste alone. <laughs> Sometimes we need artificial flavor. What was that you were saying about the artificial moon being bad for you? Yeah. <laughs> Stop talking about... <laughs> hey, I'm just saying, dunk everything in fucking chipotle sauce. Hell yes. <laughs> I've dunked that bitch in chipotle sauce. I put I put uh, the, uh, the buffalo sauce on everything I eat at work. <laughs> I can't not do it. That and thanks that and thanks to you with the fucking uh, Tabasco on ramen. I also put Tabasco on everything now too. You're welcome. <laughs> Why would you? I would see why you wouldn't do that as a default to begin with. That's just me. I never really thought about it. Tabasco on anything is great. These days we don't we haven't had fucking Tabasco <laughs> sauce in like weeks, so I put wishes to your sauce in my ramen now. It's not that bad though. <laughs> 